Hello there and welcome to this video on where and how to clamp in the fume hood. So before you start anything it's always good to select an appropriate location. So usually you want it somewhere near the tap that align the side or of course near the sink if we're doing anything with the water. So the taps that are connected to the side of the fume hood we're going to use these usually with rubber tubing so they have to be in close proximity to them so that we can easily access them without straining any of the tubing. So going up from the bottom, we have water taps, vacuum, natural gas, nitrogen, and compressed air. So remember when you come to clamp in your apparatus, you need to use the vertical bars on the frame and on the back as these offer a bit more security. The horizontal bars tend to wiggle about a little bit and are generally less secure. So if we were wanting to clamp a round bottom flask, we need our boss head and our clamp. So selecting a vertical bar on the framing, we're going to get the boss head and tighten it to the frame. We want to select this orientation where it's facing us. So when we tighten the boss head, we can actually see it tightening against the metal bar rather than covered by the groove. So this makes it a bit more secure and we can see if it's loose or if there's any issue with it. And you can also see that the groove that's going to accommodate the clamp is orientated so that it supports the clamp from underneath. Of course, we need to make sure that it's nice and tight before proceeding, giving it a little wiggle to make sure there's no or little movement there. So we don't want our apparatus falling after we've clamped it. And then you can see here that we have this orientation so that this groove can support the clamp from underneath. And once more, it's clamped nice and tight so that there's no movement really in there. When we come to clamping our round bottom flask, we're going to hold it against the non-moving part of the clamp. So the jaws of the clamp, one jaw will move as we tighten it closer to the glassware. And we need to make sure that the lip of the glassware is always above the level of the clamp jaws. Once more, we're going to give it a little wiggle before proceeding. And if we're happy with the tightness and security, then we can proceed with our chemistry.